Hey guys, I'm Dalton and welcome to The Cult Below. Now I know the game's a bit loud, so if I turn it down I apologize for that. But, this is a game essentially, uh, it's about a cult, as you can guess. But basically the whole premise, I didn't, I kind of skimmed through it. But the entire, this was made for the Screamlight Jam 9. And the entire premise here is kind of that like, 2020 went bad, the company started to take advantage of people, and then eventually a cult was created where we worship the Great One. And then something went wrong, human sacrifice, you wake up in the aftermath. And you're trying to figure out what's going on. So, I don't really know what's going to happen, I don't know how long this game is going to be. But we're going to click play, it's loading the game, as you can see. And we're gonna see, ooh, 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 this is what we were just looking at. Oh, it's dark. Are you the human sacrifice? What are my controls? Do I have controls? Oh, no, okay, I just, if I press, if I press escape, it quits the game, okay. Hello, oh, oh, that's another body. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you've seen better days though. Like, you, you can't eat mashed potatoes anymore. It's a damn shame. Oh, your hand's down there. Okay. Oh, your other hand's down there. Oh, there's your feet. Oh, there. That's your torso. That. What is that? Your ass? Is that your ass? I don't know what that is, but oh, you did not have a good time at the party. You did not have a good time at the party, did you, bud? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I don't like this. Press E to use. The chapel is a work of art. It's a shame that the leader talked us into summoning a monster. Oh, there's a monster! Oh, I heard the thumping. I don't really like the thumping. You know what? You know what? Why don't we go this way first? <laughs> the Great One ordered us to put these windows here. We painted them black to hide the rock behind them. But there's rock behind these windows? So these are painted black windows, so it's not... Oh, don't you dick me. So, see, so it's not that it's pitch black outside, you just, you just can't see outside. P? I, uh, okay. Underground windows, what a stupid idea. Oh, so we're under, oh yeah, we're the cult below! Right, that makes sense. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I, I, one, two, three, four, five. P, I, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Whatever that means. Can I crouch? No, I don't think I can. Can I sprint? No, I can't. Oh! I don't like it! You guys know. Oh, this these is very good sound design. You guys know I do not, under any circumstances, like dark hallways. You guys know I don't like dark hallways. <laughs> Note to residents, the Great One will provide for us. That is why I'm sealing this room with concrete, leader. You filled it with concrete? Why would you do such a thing? Oh, no, 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 you stop that. Oh, this room looks pleasant. This is where we all slept with one another. I mean, not in a sexual way. I mean, unless you're into that. That's that's not quite what I had in mind. I wanted, I'm in sleepy, but oh, okay, maybe actual sleep together. Maybe we're 69ing in the underground bunker. I don't know. I was not expecting the bodies to just be, yeah, up at each other's crotches. All right. <laughs> if we are going to be killed for our sins against the Great One, at least we died happy. <laughs> at least they died happy. They died doing what they loved. 69! Oh, God. Oh, you kind of startled me. Oh! Why is there toilet paper on your head, though? It killed my best friend and it will kill me next? Oh, I hope it doesn't kill me. Oh, I hope it doesn't kill me. Oh, what did you do? You, here, we, here are two unfortunate souls who did not make it to the safe space before the monster could find them. Uh, oh, what is this monster? It's annihilating everything and everyone. Oh, I don't want to meet this monster. Oh, look! <laughs> More music change into another living quarters. Who's dead in here? Nobody? Okay, good to go, drops. We don't have to see any more 69. <laughs> My virgin eyes can't take any more 69ing. 
practical psychology. Who's gonna be dead in here? No one! Okay, this place is a little bit cleaner. I like it, I like it. Can I take a shit? That's one dirty, like, this is that like a wooden toilet? That's just nasty. Wooden toilet seats are just straight up unsanitary, man. It's just on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. I look more than in quarters. <laughs> These music changes as you walk through the door, though. While in perfect timing, after like the first or second time, you just kind of desensitize to it. Anything else of interest to us here? Or is it just gonna be like more of the same? Was it just that first room? <gasps> oh! 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 I need pen. I need pen paper. I need pen paper. It's puzzle! It's puzzle! I, I need to check the other rooms. So we have P is the very first one, so it's... One, two, three, four, five, six. And so... O is right here. So yeah! We got a puzzle. Probably a password or something. We need to go check those other rooms, make sure we didn't miss anything. What all did we miss? Because we have the first and third, but where's the second one? Yeah, I'm not worried about the Great Beast. I get the feeling he's not coming for me yet. I feel like once he does come for me, I'm going to need this this passcode, whatever. Hey, buddies. Huh. Where's this other password? Is it behind the bath job? No. Okay. That's that's a dustpan. I just saw red, and I was like, oh, no, it wasn't. Uh, maybe the second one's gonna be in that other one on the right, but I want to make sure to check all the walls and everything because you guys know me I'm dumb. I'm blind. I miss things all the time. So, you know, I uh, granted these things look pretty noticeable So as long as you're exploring, I'm sure you'll find them <laughs> About fuck that R is the second one, okay. Okay, R is the second one. Pro something, pro something. Ah! Lots of dead bodies. Dear God, I'm sorry for rejecting you and turning to Satan. I had no other choice. The preppers turned into a cult and I needed the safety. Now we're all going to die. Please accept me into your arms. Ah, you might be a little beyond saving. How are you, how you doing? You look happy. Big ol' smile painted on your face. Fuck capitalism. Why didn't the government stop big corporations before it was too late? I had to join an underground cult and now look where I am. Yeah, you didn't have to. This went from an underground survivor shelter to a cult to a war zone. I don't know. I would call it more of a slaughter than a war zone. Didn't see many, didn't see many guns to indicate you guys fought back. I knew building that church was a bad idea. Nothing good can come from worshiping the angel of hell. That you're right on. The public is right to protest and riot. However, corporations had no right to start larger riots. It is because of them that I was forced into this group. The government failed me, capitalism failed me, the group failed me. By the way, a lot of this is political commentary. If you guys didn't realize, a lot of this game is very heavy on the political commentary. Oh, he's so, he's so happy. He's so happy, look at him. Oh, he's not as happy. Oh, bathtub overturned, okay. The real monster here wasn't the entity we summoned. It was the corporations who caused the end of the world. Uh, I mean, maybe it's both. I think you can argue that it's a little of both. Like, yeah, the corporations were evil. They caused the end of the world. Oh, oh, that's pleasant. That's real pleasant. But, you know, we also did summon an actual, literal, physical monster. I, I'd call that a monster too, you know? I'd say they're both kind of monsters. We're probably also monsters for summoning it. You know, quid pro quo and all that. The lot, there there lies the one who sealed our fate. Oh, was this the guy who did the human sacrifice? I don't know, but all I know is that it gives me the heebie-jeebies. This sound design is really good at freaking me out, guys. This sound design is really good at freaking me out. Oh, look, it's safe. Oh, I can't use it, damn. Oh, it's his bathroom. F. Profit! It's profit. Profit is the password. I know. I know because because the commentary on the game. Oh, look, toilet paper. Could I open these the whole time? I don't think I could. 
I don't know what strep up up is. Okay, so we know the pass password, but what do we do with it? What do we do with the password? Oh, look, a pen. That's an old-fashioned pencil sharpener, dude. He's got like a pen, or no, it's a knife. That's a pencil. That's 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 like a letter opener. <laughs> Where do I put in said password? Is there like a secret passage in here or something? Can I touch you? Oh, I, I don't want to touch you. What do I do with said password? I want to know, could I open these cabinets all along? Could I open these cabinets all along? Am I just dumb? Oh, I could! I could! Oh my god, I'm just dumb. Was there anything in this one? I just want to know if I missed something, like some, okay, well that one, that one's got a body in the way. I don't feel like touching it. You can stay there. It's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. No, it's okay. What's in this one? Nothing. Okay. Why does the leader have five billion rolls of TP, but we don't get dick diddly shit? That's, that's unfair. Oh look, another note. Our leader stole the supplies. Stole our supplies. He said the great one will provide for us. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess that explains my question. Ask and ye shall receive, am I right? That's not where that door led from. That's not where that door led from. Is it? This used to be our storage area. Our leader said the Great One will provide for us. We were ordered to seal the room with concrete. It doesn't look sealed with concrete. No trust in the Great One will provide for us. I'm Oh, is this where I came from? Oh, it is. Oh, look, I, I was right. It's profit. It's profit. I was right. Why did I not see that before? The password is profit. Oh, look, there's the T. I didn't even realize I had to go around and find a password. I just went to the closest area. Um, so that's gonna be six. How do I, do I click? Uh, oh, okay. No, I just, I type in profit. T! Profit. Oh, it, there's no animation, just straight up swung open. Okay. Did I escape? You found the exit! Hallelujah, praise be to Jesus! We found the exit and escaped from Satan! <laughs> well guys, that was pretty good. So there was no monster, well, there was probably a monster, but there was no monster lurking around. There was, there was no, I don't know where the sealed concrete was, but, but there was no monster, there were no jump scares, there was nothing but really good sound and world building. Like, they built the environment so well, they built, like, the, the field of view so well with the flashlight, and the, the, the sound design so well that I was, whew, I'm still shaking, I was constantly on edge, and that's what I love in a horror game. You know, I love jump scares being thrown in there, and I love there actually being some threat. But at the same time, for a short little game like this that's just meant to be uh, go around, find the code, and escape. Obviously, it's not as easy to put a thread in that would kill you and end it all, and yada yada. But, I mean, unless it was a randomly generated code, then, eh. But, that's a lot harder to do. But, anyways, like, I, I do genuinely love horror games that are just spook. That's just like, it's just spooky. It just, it just fills you with dread and terror. And that entire game was. They were building up to this big, the beast, Satan, the cult. And, and it was just, the, the sound design really, really gets to you. Especially when it's was just just in your headphones, you know, you don't have my commentary over it Like it's it's just terrifying and I loved it. That was really good I'd suggest playing that yourself if you didn't feel it here But there's also a lot of like social political commentary going on there Which you know a lot of people do in their games and I'm not you know I'm not a big commentator, but you know this game wanted to make a point on, 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 you know, capitalism and the way the government's going. And they made, they made their point. And 
they made a terrifying game at the same time with a lot of gore in it. And it was really good, and I really liked it. So, enough of my ranting. That was The Cult Below. Let's hope this doesn't happen. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Dalton. Peace.